Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of CGL's New Jersey Collectibles. In this episode, I got a little bit of everything, guys. I got comic books, um, superhero and cartoon comics. I have trading cards, and I have some other really cool collectibles that I don't buy too often, but uh, I was able to get them for this one. So just a little backstory. Um, not this past week, but the week prior, I was in Maine. Uh, I live in New Jersey, but I went to Maine for a little vacation. And I didn't take my camera with me, but I did find a bunch of comic book shops while staying in Portland. Um, there were actually three, and I went to all of them. They were all really, really nice. And I kind of went thinking, oh man, I wish I could get this and that and that. But I decided I wanted to come home with something. So I did get a pretty nice uh, X-Men comic book that you probably see in the thumbnail. Um, other than that, you know, I got some eBay purchases, the the cartoon comics or dad's purchases. I even got a Christmas gift that uh, really surprised me from my friend Tom, and uh, a big a big shout out to him for that. Um, everything else, you know, I haven't haven't been to the flea market um, in the past couple weekends because of the weather. It's been really cold here, and we just had snow, and all that's usually bad for for flea markets. I mean, vendors don't want to come out in in 20 degree weather. Or when it's raining and snowing and stuff like that so i'm kind of staying away from it for now uh hopefully i'll get something out soon like a, a flea maybe a flea market video or hopefully um like an antique show or something i gotta see what's coming up on the schedule but stay tuned for that and i uh, hope you guys enjoy this if you if you are enjoying the content uh, on the channel i would really recommend you subscribe um it helps me out a great deal it keeps me inspired it keeps me wanting to uh, keep making more videos and if you like the video please hit the like button and if there's something in the video that you want to see more of or if there's something that you see that I, uh, that within the video one of the collectibles brings back any childhood memories you know let me know in the comment section I love reading your guys's comments we got some people that post amazing outstanding comments on this channel and it teaches me a lot and it keeps me uh, on the lookout for more things when I go out because I learn a lot from reading my comments so uh, without further ado, guys, I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to check out all the cool stuff. All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to start the video off with something that I didn't actually buy, but something that's been in my collection for quite some time. Um, these Marvel superhero um, metal miniatures. Uh, I don't know how many sets actually came, but I have two of them. I, I guess there's a lot of characters included in these. And I just kind of had these sitting on eBay for a couple weeks now, maybe about a month. And nobody's really been interested in them, so I just wanted to put them on my YouTube channel and just say, hey, you know, if anybody wants to make an offer on them, I have make an offer available um, for some of these guys. Some of them are painted, and whoever painted them did a pretty good job, honestly. I mean, they're not terrible. It's not like they're completely wrong or anything like that. I mean, look at this Captain America. Somebody did a good job on that. Some kid probably back in the 80s. They're from 1984. Uh, Thor, another nice one. And there's an unpainted one in here, Scorpion. That's what they look like when they came stock. But somebody took the time to paint these, some kid. And he did a pretty good job with them. I'll show the other set, too. Look, if you're interested, I'm not uh, I'm not giving them away for free. But I kind of I have them on my eBay. Nobody's been interested at the price that I have them set at. So please feel free. Send an offer if this is something you feel like adding to your collection. This set here, set number two has a lot more unpainted uh, figures. I'm guessing this, this looks like Iron Man here. You know, it's a really ugly Iron Man face. Uh, I got Doctor Strange, unpainted. Nice Wolverine. So yeah, just really cool little figures. I got them up on eBay for 65 bucks a piece with free shipping. Um, that's probably a little high on them considering they have some of them have been painted. I would I would be more firm if they were mint and untouched. But please, you know, shoot me an offer if that's something that you guys be interested in collecting. All right, the second thing I want to get into here is the Christmas gift I got from my friend Tom. So when we had our friend Christmas uh, gift exchange, that was the week that I was away. And Tom got me, so I got it yesterday, Tom got me a Hot Wheels Fruit Brute uh, truck here. Something that I've seen on eBay, but I don't own one. Um, I got my Fruit Brute can for my dad. I got some Fruit Brute cereal next to me, and I got another Fruit Brute Hot Wheels car in a, in a blister package. But this one here on the box is super cool. Kind of has that cereal vibe to it. 
Never read this, let's see. Ever since he was a cub, Fruit Brute has been transforming breakfast into a howling good time for kids everywhere. This specialty, this specially decorated version of the 50s Chevy truck is a delicious reminder from Hot Wheels to have a big bite of fruit with every meal. Eat your fruit, guys. <laughs> Even though these things were not at all filled with fruit, they were just filled with sugar, but hey, you know, it's a good message now. <laughs> When did this come out? 2012. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Tom. And I also got a nice little collection of cards from Tom and some really cool ones. I'll flip through them quickly. But a nice, uh, clearly Don Russ, uh, Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence, Antonio Gibson, a couple of CD Lambs, uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, Brian Edwards, who I want to see be good. I really want to see Brian Edwards be good. Cortland Sutton, uh, dual patch. Henry Ruggs, who it's going to be a while before he, he he's back in the NFL, if ever. But uh, yeah, Henry Ruggs, we'll take it. Nice Jarvis Landry here, Prism. I forgot what these things are called, but it's nice that the orange kind of matches the, the orange on the jerseys. Another juice. Jacob Eason, uh, Jake Funk, let's say running back. I didn't know he was a running back. Interesting. Tommy Tremble, Eno Benjamin, another patch here of Amon Ross St. Brown, Nate Stanley, uh, Jerry Judy, who I really like, Clyde, and Cam Akers. So, super cool. A lot of rookie cards. A couple of patches in there. Uh, my favorite out of the bunch is probably either the Joe Burrow or the Jerry Judy, probably. Be my two favorites. But super cool. Awesome Christmas gift. Thank you, Tom. Really appreciate it. Um, sticking with the trading card department. I know not everybody on here is a trading card connoisseur but uh, I, I like my nfl stuff i did buy a rated rookie carson wentz um graded 10 out of 10 gem mint i uh, got this one for 45 bucks maybe 48 or something with with tax and everything so it was under 50 bucks um for what it's worth i think carson wentz is better than uh, people give him credit for i know he's not He's not a superstar, but he's not a top 10 guy, but I think he's a top 20 guy, and I think if he can just figure some things out in his head, um, then he can blossom into a great, better, even better player on the field. And then this was kind of my big card purchase um, from about a week and a half ago, a rookie NFL debut Joe Burrow rookie card, uh, graded Gem Mint, 10 out of 10. It's a camo pink, the NFL debut not as desired as the standard mosaic but you know what i've already since i bought this card for 86 dollars and change i've already seen it appreciate in value so maybe you could flip it and then try to get a nicer card but really kind of the theme and i was talking to my friends about this is the theme that i'm really going for here is buying graded cards um trying to stay with quarterbacks and trying to keep them at a 10 out of 10 as far as uh, as far as grading so that's kind of my threshold right now and it could change i mean i still like buying non-graded cards that i collect like giant cards or, or older players but as far as flipping cards i really want to try to keep it to good quality quarterbacks graded 10 out of 10s and take it from there and see where it goes so uh i think those are two really nice purchases all right, so this is coming out of my trip from Portland. I did stop at the comic stores and got some comic stuff, but I also stopped at this one shop that was not an antique shop, but they had antiques. And one of the antiques they had was an Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein a, a Super 8 millimeter reel. Uh, it's a little, it's a little rough. Um, I don't know if the reel is actually. I don't know if there's a way to tell if it's actually the correct reel I was, i'm just kind of hoping that it is um i do have one that's in like a bigger box like this this other one that's on the bottom of the same abbott i have a couple of abbott and costellos i have a small one like this where they meet um 
where they're um, African Safari, I think. Then I have a bigger one of uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And I also have a bigger version of this one where it's just, it's like that big. It's like the size of this one. Um, which brings me to this one. Um, Killer Gorilla, which I am a huge, since birth, since I was a little kid, huge fan of gorillas. So I saw this. I saw this one first before I saw the Abbott and Costello one. And I was like, man, Killer Gorilla on on one of these older 8mm reels. I'm like, you know what? For 10 bucks, so I ended up paying 20 bucks for the two of them, 10 bucks a piece, and I thought that was just a great deal in my opinion. I and like I said, the, the store was not it was it was a weird kind of store. They had a lot of newer stuff in it, a lot of modern uh, artsy arts and crafts stuff, and then just in the corner they had some VHS tapes. They had an old McDonald's toy which was beat to heck. I, I was gonna even buy it, but I was like, nah, it's not worth it for whatever they were asking, 30 or 40 bucks. And then they had these, they had a couple other uh, 8mm reels, but I, for me, these are all subject matter. I don't collect 8mm reels, but I do collect things of this kind of subject matter. So, I'm curious as to what this is. I want to see maybe if I can research kind of the story behind this, or if there's a movie out there for it. I don't know. Um, but two super cool buys. And then along with those things, I stopped at a comic book store. I stopped at three of them, and after going to all three i went to this one last and i was like this is the guy i'm gonna buy something from super cool store the guy had probably a thousand silver age marvel books to choose from i wanted to pick something that we didn't have in our collection um i paid 35 bucks for this here x-men 57 i think it's in good shape it's pretty good i'm not a grader I'm not, I'm not sure what grade i'd give it it looks like a 5.0 to me i don't know if you guys want to nitpick this or tell me i'm an idiot um but please what what, do you, what condition do you think it's in i bought it for 35 dollars. i don't think that's a great price i probably overpaid not the point i i bought this for the memory of the trip it's something that i don't plan on selling anytime soon and it's a book that my dad did not have in his X-Men collection. So, and, and the reason why I picked this one out of all of them is the, the fact that we don't have it and the Sentinel covers. I, I really like the, the vintage Sentinels, something they have not really been able to capture in the movies. Hopefully, if Marvel, um, if Disney ever gets a hand on the X-Men movies, because I, I believe they've acquired them um, through purchasing um, 20th Century Fox, if they ever get into the x-men movies i hope they can do a really good sentinel because fox just unable in my opinion maybe somebody can can challenge me on this but in my opinion never did a really good sentinel uh villain battle scene or anything like that and not 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 to the standard of the comics and the cartoons that i i am so used to so i was super stoked to get this all right and what else do i have i have the stuff that my dad bought off of eBay, entire collection of comics and other books. Um, maybe you guys can tell me more about them. I know that he paid a dollar and fifty cents per book in total, and I he told me that these things are kind of rare. Uh, it's a giant adventure, new giant adventures of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, a DC comic, giant comic. This thing is huge in comparison to my my hand. It's bigger than the the comic box. My dad told me that these things were pretty rare, and that he got another one also. Let's grab this one. So I don't know if these are numbered. I don't see numbers on them. This one says C twenty four. This one doesn't have a number on it. But this was the other one here. And they're super cool. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of bigger stuff like this because it, it takes up a little more room i like the convenience and the um easy storage of comic books but these are pretty cool and i'm sure somebody would really like to have them i don't know what my dad plans on doing with them but if we resell them i will let you know and now these are just kind of kind of be mystery packs for me they're kind of packed up separately this one here is a single i don't know if i can stand these up so it's interesting, Top Comics, Bugs Bunny. I don't know if I've ever seen Top Comics. 
Um, I don't know if my mind's just playing tricks on it. Isn't Bugs Money usually Gold Key or, or the other one? What's the other one? Whitman Comics, but Top Comics, Bugs Money. Interesting. And it's not going to stand. We got a bunch of other ones here. Like these guys shipped them in these packs, so I don't know what's in here. So I'll be looking at these for the first time too. All I do know is, guys, dollar fifty a piece. That's all I can tell you. The rest is gonna be a mystery. The inspector plus the pink panther. Oh, super cool. One of my favorites, Road Runner. Little Lulu. Walt Disney. Oops. Walt Disney, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Junior Woodchucks. Never seen this one. Um, the Aristo Kittens and O'Malley the Alley Cat. Oh, this one's a little in it's in a little rough condition, but Little Bad Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. Love that. Adventures of Robin Hood. The Beagle Boys. So a lot of Disney cartoon it looks like in this stuff. Daisy and Donald. Uncle Scrooge. And another Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Alright. Let's get into the next batch. Alright. Hanna-Barbera. Quick Draw McGraw. Also got a Oggy Doggy and Doggy Daddy on, uh, on the cover. Another one. Both uh, number twos. And another one. <laughs> All right, we're making a little uh, back stock here. And can you guess another one? So we got four, four quick draw McGraw number twos. Oh, super cool! A Marvel Comics Hanna Barbera Dino Mutt. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There's another Yogi Bear. Love that. What is that that he's... The Below Zero Bear? Is that what it's called? Oh, the Abominable Snowman meets the Below Zero Bear. That doesn't look like a very good Abominable Snowman. Looks more like a Sasquatch, but... Hey, we'll let it slide. Oh, wow. Super cool. Uh, Hanna-Barbera Laugh Olympics. And me, I'm just a fan of anything with Scooby-Doo on the cover. So, got a whole bunch of stuff here on this cover. A lot of guys going on. Super cool to see these. I, I love the Hanna-Barbera books. They're probably... I, I think I've expressed this on the channel before. Probably my favorite of the cartoon stuff is the Hanna-Barbera. And we'll get into the next batch. And we got the Flintstones starring Dino. First non-cartoon book here. Our Fighting Forces in action attack Popeye comic Doomsday plus one can't say I know too much about that and Wheelie and the Chopper Bunch interesting interesting cover cars uh, they looks like they're doing some slot car racing pretty cool all right, we'll get into the final batch. All right, in a little rough condition here, but Richie Rich. And it looks like we're going to have a bunch of these Richie Rich comics. Keep in mind, guys, $1.50 a piece for everything that you're seeing here. It's roughly what it averaged out to. A ton of Richie Rich. I know we got a lot of... Big Richie Rich fans on the channel, you get plenty of this content. 
uh, in my videos because my dad is a huge Richie Rich fan as well. That one there is a little beat. Some of these guys are a little beat. Looks like whoever owned this collection was a Richie Rich fan. Looks like they read the heck out of these comics. There's another one. That one's in very nice condition. A uh, little dot. Little dot dot land. A um, miles of smiles with playful little Audrey. Nice. Devil Kid starring Hot Stuff, one of the better titles. And Richie Rich Millions. And oh, before I forget, we do have two little novels here that came with this collection. So, got a little bit of everything in this collection. Got comic books, got the giant, um, the giant Rudolph books, and we got these little, little novels as well. All for a dollar fifty a piece. Uh, Dennis the Menace and Madhouse uh, Comic Digest number one. Interesting. I, lo I love these little little novels. I have like Batman and and Six Million Dollar Man novels that are kind of similar to that. But there you have it, guys. I mean. A bunch of really cool stuff from the the trading cards to uh, the Christmas present. Uh, let me pull it out here. I know this is a lot of everyone's, almost everyone's favorite, and probably mine too. The the twelve cent X Men. Um, you know all this stuff. Um, some stuff paid up for. Some stuff got gifted. Some stuff um, got on a bargain. So. Like I said at the start of the video, a lot of everything. I mean, this is a this is a diverse video. Um, don't forget uh, if you if you didn't catch the the beginning, um, go back and check out that for the uh, the Marvel mini uh, metal miniatures. And um, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I got so much stuff here. i um, got to figure out what to do with all of it. Uh, I'm watching the Giants right now, kind of get their butts kicked by the by the Washington team. Um, not fun to see that, but hopefully can get back out there soon. Hopefully the weather starts to warm up a little bit. Um, even though it probably won't, but if it doesn't warm up, we'll find something hopefully indoors to do or something that we can at least attract more, um, a place where we can get more vendors. Cause the flea markets right now are just kind of, they're kind of bare a little bit. You're not seeing a ton of new stuff. You're seeing a lot of the same guys showing up with the same stuff. And, um, I'm finding a lot of better stuff on, on eBay even though prices are up, I'm still finding pretty good deals. So stay tuned for the next one, guys. Um, keep hunting out there. I know it's tough this time of the year. But um, look, uh, you know, you got to try to find, uh, try to do what you can when uh, the conditions are rough. And if you're living in a place with a nicer climate, uh, kudos to you. I'm sure um, that my cold weather stories do not fit everyone's, everyone's uh, geography at the moment. But hey, we're, we're still finding amazing stuff, as you can see in this video. And, um, yeah, just stay tuned for the next one. And thank you for watching so much. And if you really like the video, please hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because that helps the channel out a great deal. Um, but without further ado, I'll leave you guys uh, with a goodbye, good luck, and check in next time. Thank you.